Okay, uh, today we're going to do part two of part seven for 5.5a CAD model features. This is the button base. Where we left off, we had just done the holes in the top of the base. And now we have to make some chamfers. Um, it says up here, Use the chamfer function to apply a 1 32nd chamfer to all the exterior edges of the button maker base plate. So I'm going to click on my chamfer tool and I'm going to select the top edge and the back edge and change this value to 1 divided by 32. That would be 1 32nd and hit OK. Those are my chamfers. Now the last step is going to be to place um, small holes into the back of the part. So if this is the front, um, I need to turn this over to the back. And there's a pretty good look at the back, and which is actually the bottom. Um, so I'm going to start a 2D sketch again, and this time I'm going to place a point um, in the spot where I want these particular holes. So if I look at my diagram, um, I'm going to grab the point tool, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And it doesn't give us a clear place for the points. So um, we're just going to kind of guess where the points are supposed to be. So I'm going to put one point um, right there. And then I'm going to finish my sketch. Now... You say, Mr. Pope, why did I only do one point? Well, I'm going to use the rectangular pattern tool here in just a minute um, after I get my hole feature. So I'm going to click on the point, make a hole. And it says 8-32 UNC. Then it has this little arrow that says um, 0.2875 times 4. All right, UNC tells me that that is some sort of thread. So I'm going to go down here to my hole menu click on a tapped hole and give it just a minute. It's working. And I should get a tapped hole. And I want a distance. And my distance, as it says right here, 0 0.2875. And this is going to change um, this down here as well. Designation 8-32 UNC. So <coughs> I'm going to find something that is close to those particular threads. Um, so we'll go with 0.3125 um, and we'll see what happens. This is not necessarily correct, but it's going to be pretty close. So we'll stick with 1 4th 20 UNC. Class 2B, that is all fine. So I'm going to hit OK. Notice how I only have one point. But I can use a rectangular pattern tool here on the bottom to get my other points. So first thing I'm going to do is select my features. Let's see, it's not giving me, oh, there's the, there's the features option that I want. And direction one, I want to go, hang on, cancel that. All right, let's try to select our features again. Okay, all I want, and I have to move my mouse very carefully, because all I want is that little hole. Actually, let's zoom in on it so we can get a better idea. There we go. OK, 
Okay, direction one, it's gonna go that way. Um, I need to change the direction and I'm gonna play with the spacing just a little bit till I get it about where I want it. So it's now over here, um, that's fine. And then I'm gonna select direction two, that way, two points there. And let's see about 10 inches. Let's see where that puts it. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'll hit okay. And then I will get those two, those four holes on the bottom. So I'll go back to my home screen. Notice how they don't go all the way through. And I will save part seven, um, the button base. And that's the end of the button base part.